And we're back. Thanks, Bob, for the wonderful treat. Just kidding. So let's make a comic. This is part three of the new tutorial set. Creating a comic. So we have made a scene in our second tutorial. The first tutorial we made a character. And you can go to my characters, my scenes. We're going to go to my characters. Do, 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 do. Fernando starts with an F. So you can search for it or just remember where you put it. Watch this trick. RSS feed. Oh. Well, it used to work. Okay. Meh. 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 I love the fact that I'm user FKL. That's just awesome. Eight million players have tried it. So can you. This is my wife, Jennifer. And or her avatar. Mm hmm. I'm in the M's. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. A, B, C, D, E, F. G. Fernando! So you can go ahead and click on Put Me in a Best Trip or click on his name and then put him in a best trip. Or what you can go ahead and do is hit Create Comic. We're just going to go ahead and create comic. Because let's say I, I made Fernando, but then suddenly another idea has popped into my head. So your first pop up here when you hit Create Comic is the main, they call it the gag strip. One, two, three. I think that they're too tall, so I always bring it down to there. Uh, the gag strip is okay, but you can do anything you want. So click here, type in five, bam, you've got five. Now it's a pre-selected five for you. Um, let's say you wanted to do the old, uh, go back to three. You can hit add a panel to do the sixer. Let's say you wanted to do twelve really tiny. So there you go. Now it looks like a set of teeth. Or you can just do that one big strip. The one big strip is... I'm, I'm kind of fond of that. But let's say you wanted to split it up a little bit. So this is... Whatever else kids say these days. And uh... You can use your regular delete and backspace on the side of there. So right now we want to go to Art Library. That's where it showed us before. Let's go back to Art Library. We don't want to change anything else. We're, we can work with this later. I believe this is an incorrect area, but that's okay. We'll come back to it. Just remember where it's at if you want to change anything. This is very important. If I click on it, it's, it's set to everything all the time. Techno color. <laughs> the system is down. The system is down. <laughs> anyway, so you've got that nice purple. Go away. And you can create your border. I like to have a, a nice cream border right there. Just just so. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to break that and create your floor. Or get oh I hate that set button anyway get rid of this color all panels and now you can work on all four colors at once huzzah or click it all back together and you've got your puce <coughs> puce is a terrible color but I'm gonna leave it up to show you something you go to art, art library Scenes, my scenes, and the one that we just created, created, blam. So you'll notice it's gone. I've got the gray and the blue from when I created the scene. Now this is much, much too close. What's that? Oh, hi kitty. I'm busy. 
So, uh, Steve says hi. Hello, everyone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this box here. Hit X. Bam. And you'll see I select on anything and it's already locked for me. So I don't have to worry about messing my stuff, my stuff up. I'm going to go ahead and bring it in a little bit. Because remember, I made this thing wide. So, <coughs> excuse me. And, and of course, that wall is too small. Man, that needs to change. See, when I, I don't like the same colors or near the same colors touching each other. So I'm going to go ahead and make this gray. A little bit gray. There we go. And this is going to have to be scrunched up a little bit there. Okay, so that's very similar to how I actually made my strip to be with the scene. So I'll just keep it. And then if I want to go ahead and improve on it, I can squiggity blam. Make sure you have the entire box as a light blue liner around it. And then. Okay, I guess I'll just do this. No. There. Had to move the entire browser box. Uh, eh. Okay. So, let's see. I select this whole thing. Not this. Because if you do copy, come down here and hit paste. Oh. Well, they fixed that. Okay. Well, it used to be something different. It used to be just the door would pop up. So, copy. Paste. Unlock. Move. Yep. Go back. Okay, so that's fixed. Never mind, I was going to say something that is now impotent. Okay, so see how I've, I've moved this? Let's say I didn't want to move it. Oh no, I've done something that I can't repair. That's okay. Just go ahead and copy. Paste. Bam. It'll show up in the exact same spot. So that's good. Now, oh wait, yes, yes, stay on this page, sorry. So now if you recall, we were doing something earlier. Uh, I've got to move my box again, dang it. We were doing something earlier. Uh, our library, we need to go get our buddy, Fernando. So my characters, in my opinion, they need to add a search bar right here. But, what was he on page 6? That's a yeah, page six. So here's Fernando. He is too small. Again, a little bit taller. It's just that I think that these floor concrete things are just misproportioned. So Fernando has that bab and stare on us. And we're gonna give him a little bit of a hey man, what's up, dude? Like yo, like. I'm gonna like do this now, and then do this, and then, oh no, and then what, and then, I love you so much. How much? This much. Yeah. Hi, kids. I'd like to talk to you about. Oh, he he he! Yeah, double click on him, and I can do this wonderful thing where you take each segment: top torso bends, middle torso bends as well. So all torso bends. I want the yoga. I do the yoga. Grab each segment of arm. Oh, ha, ha, ha. they paid me a lot of money in the circus for that. And then double click off of him. And you're going to come with the blue box. Click again the third time. Don't click three times in a row or you'll grab it real quick. Like let's say this is unlocked. Ah, you can't see it. Anyway. So anyway, just trust me. Double click and then wait and then click again. Unless you're like super awesome. Okay, now, once you've done this yellow box control, the gray box up here is, is grayed out, the white box is grayed out. So, 
go back to this one and he goes back to a regular right here hey so we need to have him do something <coughs> so you can think of a funny scenario let's just say mm, he is delightfully full Who's he talking to, though? So we're going to go up here, and you're going to get somebody else that you've created. All the people that I've created. I used to have about 30 pages of characters. I got tired of searching for them all the time, so I deleted so many of them. A lot of people were upset that I deleted so many. So let's just put in old Whiskas. Whiskas, when I created him, is intentionally small. So we're just going to have him here. You should notice Whiskas doesn't have a face. So, uh, that's okay. I'm going to go to Shapes. Do, do, do. And I'm going to give Whiskers a face. <whistles> now, we're going to do this. Copy, paste. He has weird gray eyes. And he has, well, let's say, this rectangle for a mouth. So that's Whiskas. Of course, if I went into an artistic tutorial, it would just take way too long. I feel satisfied. What? Why are you satisfied, dude? You don't look satisfied. You look like you're at a weird bus stop. Oh, but this is a dream. So let's go ahead and go to controls. Sorry, text. And there are several ways to make this larger. One is my favorite, holding on, clicking it until it becomes purple, then hitting a plus button on your keyboard. And it's the same font, but the balloon's big. So the entire image is larger. So if you have something that's real large and real happy, probably you can do that. Or you can leave it as it is. Make sure it's blacked out like that. Select it. Go to your font. 26. And that's okay. But let's say I don't want that. I want 22. And I want the text to be large but the balloon to be small. So it's like this. And this is actually getting in our way, isn't it? So I can't hit delete. Well, I guess I could, but it would do no, do, no good. I got bittersweet symphony in my head. Alright, so I'm going to hit unlock, delete. Yeah, that's much better. Alright, so it seems that in your scene, if something is conflicting, just get rid of it. Like that stupid mouth of his. And the stupid eyes. I'm going to show you a trick. Another trick. Yay! <clears throat> First of all, I need to make sure when I do these videos to resize it properly. Art library. Characters. We're going to use War Grindle. Right click on War Grindle. Hide the body. We're going to give him a big head. So now he has a new face. <laughs> Very odd face. As a matter of fact, this is creepy. But that's okay. Good old War Grindle. And I want this exact thing so that everything in this, all the changes that I've done, all the expressions, copy, put it down here. Squiggity blam! And then he's going to say something else. So let's come up with a retort for him. I'm clicking on text bubbles. You can't see it. And regular speech. Why? And you'll notice the default text size is different. So is that 22? So we're going to click on 22. Skidoo. That's 18. That is not 22. You might be fooled. You might be able to fool others, but you cannot fool me. 22. 
and then minus 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 so about the same size or you can just select this copy paste bam you never have to worry about doing what I just did but I wanted to show you that why he said he said with the expression in his face of I'm a weirdo make sure you get your text boxes I like to give a little bit more this is called max headroom the maximum headroom you want for a TV anchor is this you want his his chin and his top of his head. If it's a close up, you can always cut off the top of the head. However, since we're not in TV, we're in bit strips. Oh, and by the way, I'm holding my left mouse button and using my plus and minus. Wah! <laughs> I went from back there to up here. Hi! My spoon, they're big. I feel satisfied. Why? Okay, they're standing on the same plane. You see, they're back the same distance. So that means if he was up front, he'd be larger. Hey, man. And I would actually make his text box a little bit larger. But since they're on the same plane, um, I will put their text boxes the same height. So there we go. So why, he says. Now, I've changed it, so I want to go ahead. No, actually, I don't need to. I just ate my socks. Now, I never really punctuate. That's up to you. Unless it's an exclamation or a question mark, I just I just leave periods out, semicolons. I, sometimes I use colons, but I'll just normally use a new text box for that. Um, there you go. So tutorial strip, and I'll put this under. Oh yes, yeah. You always want to make sure. If you want to make a new one, go ahead and go down to New Series. Click that, and it'll pop up. I don't want to click it now. But I'm going to put it under... Uh, doo -doo -doo. How to... Bit Strips Tutorials. You can also do all sorts of stuff extra. I will make a fourth video. Save this. Saving. It, if it ever errors, just let it work as much as you can refresh your browser hit create comic again and it'll say you appear to have an unsafe comic would you like to revert to this you just hit yes okay so my 29th tutorial tutorial strip I feel satisfied why I just hate my socks mm. I'm going to show you what to do on the next video